Hi, I'm Doc Jenny. Join us in the Green Hornet as we travel the back roads of beautiful North Idaho. Every day is different, challenging, and never boring as we see all the farm animals, big and small. On the road with Dr. Jenny, and we are looking at a horse that uh, we are con the owners are concerned that she may be suffering from ulcers. So has a history of being a little bit girthy, and the trainer that they were working with before was concerned that she had ulcers. So we're going to take a look and do a subjective evaluation and check out her ulcer points and um, look her over and see if we've got any issues of uh, soreness or pain that may be associated with ulcers. Okay. So Kira, tell me, uh, what's this horse's name and how old? This is Thea and she's six. Thea and she's six. And she is broke, right? She's, she's had some training. Under she's under started, saddle. okay. 30 days under saddle. And she was having some trouble just with getting cinched up. Okay, so let's take a look at her. I'm just gonna do a, a quick physical exam on her first. Good job, sister. Sounds good in there. The only way to actually diagnose ulcers is to see them visually with a camera, but they have referred pain sites at the withers, the shoulders, the girth, and the flank. And so what we do is run our hands down just behind the withers and pinch both sides, and she does not react to that at all. And then the other one is just behind the shoulder blades here, and she does not react to that at all. And this one here in the girth, Really, no reaction. And then back here in the flank. And again, no reaction. So I would have to say that on this horse, I am not concerned about any ulcer issues. She does have a little bit of loss of, loss of her body condition score, so I would give her a body condition score of four and a half. And with the hay belly, I think she's not chewing very well, possibly. So I do think she needs her teeth done, but I don't see any indication that she has ulcers at all. So on a horse that is sore, typically when you put your hand up here, they'll flinch their back. And it's the same on these sites. You can, it's, it's like you're poking them. So, and again, that just gives us an indication that they may have some ulcer issues going on. It isn't diagnostic for ulcers. So we do recommend on those horses that they get a scope. But for her right now, I think she's fine. I don't see any indication that she should have any ulcer issues going on. Hey everybody. Thanks for riding with us in the Green Hornet today. This is Doc Jenny signing out. If you like what you saw, be sure and follow us in the Green Hornet with Tormund out on the road with Doc Jenny. Just click the link below and follow us along on our journeys. See you later.